shell of the day that isn't a broken vi bivalve. Let's see if I can get it out. Can you see it? Oh, down there. What's this? Oh, oh, something fell off. I'm sorry. And there's a bit of rubbish there. We have, well, it looks like a scotch bonnet. Wow, it's probably my best condition one if you uh, exclude the missing tip. Wow, that's kind of nice. So for those of you wondering, today I am at Point Arkwright rather than Point Cartwright. Point Cartwright is way over there in the distance. If you're wondering, oh no Maddie, where's the sea? It's right there guys. Don't hit me. Next up, oh I see a little cowrie. Um, I think it's empty. Wow, it's got like a really unusual kind of like opening. It looks a bit deformed and kind of almost sort of not really next to it is this little one. What's this cowrie? It's a, oh my goodness, it's a little clandestine. Look at that. I, I didn't know what to expect at this new beach, but there we go. Wait, is it a clandestine? It looks like it's got a zigzag pattern on it. No guys, it's just a clandestine cowrie. My, uh, my smooth brain wasn't wrinkly enough to remember that they sometimes have angular stripes like that. So, uh, yeah. Let's have a look. See at this black one Oop, down here. Don't fall. Oh yeah, I've seen quite a few of these um, stuck to the rocks around here so far. They seem very, very common here. Little black neurite or snail boys or something like that. This one seems empty though, so yeah, that's a nice one to take. Oh, I do apologize. There is a crab in it. Oh, look at that. That's a bit different. Some kind of bivalve or oyster shell or something, but look at that. It's so like transparent and delicate. I almost didn't think it was a shell, but it, it definitely is. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh boy, did I just find the jackpot? Is that a ton shell in the sand? Is it whole? Ooh, look at that. It looks like it's got most of its bits. Oh, it does have most of its bits. Look at that one. Okay, yes, it's missing its tip, but these things almost always are. Wow, look at that. Oh my God, I did not expect to find good things. I am, I am so early for low tide, like, it's, it's like 1.2 meters right now. I didn't expect to find anything, but look at that little dude. That's a very nice ton shell. Oh, I see a calorie right there. What type is it? It looks like, well, well, to be honest, I'm not really sure. I'm sure it'll be in my seashell book. That spot on top almost made me think stilitta, but it doesn't like have nice orange sides like a stilitta would, so wow. That's a new cowrie. I don't think I've ever picked up one quite like that before with a diamond on top of it. That's really cool. Oh my goodness, this is a very good spot. So I see another cowrie right here. Let's grab him up. Oops, there we go. Very nice. Uh, some kind of gray cowrie. I don't know the actual name, but wow, that's a very nice looking one. And next to kind of like the gross looking squishy, like uh, a bits of like something or other. Ooh, there's a, there's a fish there. I see a little bit of that circleception coral. Circles and circles and circles, it's the circleception coral. That was a very nice little find. Look at these rocks, aren't they just the coolest? Well, right there underneath this bit of water, I, I see a cowrie and a trident shell. Triton shell, let's have a look at the trident shell first. It's... Hey! Oh, I was about to say, no, it's not occupied. Awesome, but there's only like half of it there, so look at that one. And right next to it, I thought I saw a cowrie. Let's pop him out. Ooh, can I? Ooh, there we go. Popped out that one. Hey, it's empty as well, looks like. And a rosa cowrie. Very nice. My first at rosa today at the new beach. There's quite a few of these zebra shells around. Some kind of turban shell, I think. There are little snails that attach themselves to the rocks. So yeah, there's, a, there's one that isn't occupied. That's kind of nice. I like it because it's a bit of a bigger one. I see possibly a nice moon snail down there. Ooh. Can I hook it with my finger? Oh, come on. I can feel it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. That's a fairly decent moon snail if I do say so. Gosh, I wonder how long it was under there for. What? <laughs> what? What cowrie is this here? Is this a great cowrie wedged on the rock? Oh, good. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at this. 
I actually don't know what it is other than old. I suspect maybe a grape cowrie or a, or a really old Lincina cowrie. Wow, that's a bit unusual. Well, I picked this one up because I wasn't sure if it was going to be anything, but yeah, it's just a broken serif cone. But hey, look at how cool that one is. It's got like little windows. Oh, I see another ton in there. Do you think it's hull? I mean, okay, it's missing its tip. I can see that much, but I'm curious. Let's take a look. Oh, it actually feels maybe hull. Hold on. Oh, it's a big one too. This one's going to need some uh, persistence to get out. Hold on. My goodness. This might be a, a job for the gloves, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. No, I got it, I got it, I got it. Hey, 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 second ton shell today. Look at that. Wow, I might not even find one ton shell every month at my usual beach. This is amazing. Yeah, heck yeah, I like that one. Very nice. Ooh. Was that a spotted prickly droop I just saw? Where did that go? There it is. There we go. And up before the waves come. Hey, it is. Oh, wait, is it? No, I don't think it is a spotted prickly droop. I think it's just like a regular shell, maybe? I think it's just a regular snail. I'm not sure, but I like it a lot for some reason. It reminds me of a prickly droop without the prickles. Ooh, that's a moon snail. There we go. Grab him up. Oh, that's a fairly pretty little dude. There's a little orange and white cowrie. Let's grab it up. There we go, that's a pretty nice looking one. Oh, is that maybe a nice little crown cone? Let's take a look at it. Ooh, just a small one. Hey, yeah, that one's intact, that one's empty. Wow, he looks very, very cute. Just a tiny little crown cone. Another crown cone for Maddie. Oh yeah, look at that one. That's got a very nice pattern on it. Oh yeah, I like that one. No hecking way. Oh my God, this looks like the biggest donkey calorie. Is it alive? Is it? No, it's empty. Oh my god, look at the size of this donkey! Wow! Okay, yes, it's a bit old, but wow, what a big donkey! I feel like I usually find them and they're like, like only like 60 or 70 percent of that size. That's a monster! Wow, I'd love to do like a comparison to the, uh, to a donkey I have at home because this one is like, wow, that's massive to me. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, look at that! <laughs> It's another one that I mistook for a spotted prickly droop. Oh geez, what weird thing did I spot this time? What's this? Ooh. Oh well, look at that. Woo! Oh sh It was a fishing lure. Uh, no hook on it anymore. Obviously it's been battered and broken off, but uh, yeah. Something uh, to get out of the ocean. That's obviously just trash now. Oh, look at that. There are some live calories here. Well, I'm out to like a more of a sea spongy spot. And the water level's gone down a bit, so I'm fingers crossed we find something good out here. Ooh, ooh, is that an empty Hebrew cone or is it alive? Oh, <laughs> look at that one! Wow, it looks like it must be a very fresh Hebrew cone as well because it still has its orangey yellow tinge on it. I don't see a snail in there. Wow, look at the crazy pattern on that one. That looks really cool. That is a very nice Hebrew cone, if I do say so. Ooh, let's have a look at you. Ooh, look at this zebra cone. Oh wow, look at this little zebra shell. Uh, I think that's just uh, rocks in there. Just rocks in there, but wow, what a pretty pattern on this zebra shell. I like that one. Oh, look at these. They're just, they're just very deep holes with lots of coral on the side. How cool is that? And there's another one over there. and. Uh, and a few more over here. This is just like a super cool little kind of look through down into the uh, ecosystem. Wow, speaking of impressive, this thing is just oh, so angry all the time. Angry, angry, angry. <laughs> well, I just came from up there and I thought, oh, I'll just check under here. And no way, look at that. Do you think it's um alive? Let's take a look. 
Oh, stretch. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh my goodness. My first checkered bonnet today. Yes, it's missing its tip, but otherwise it looks like a fairly nice one. Look at that little cutie. Well, oh my goodness. I bet that ruined some little girl's day. Ooh, stretch many. Ooh, exhale all the things from my body. Ooh. Oh my goodness, is it stuck on something? Come on, is this one of those situations where the harder you pull, the better it is or the worse it is? Well, there we go, only, only slightly worse for wear. We have the Jet Junior Speedo goggles. Yeah. Oh my goodness, do you see that? Is that a sneaky bonnet trying to hide from me under there? Hold on, let me see if I can get the stick out of the way. Yeah, maybe a sneaky, sneaky bonnet. It, ooh, ooh, it feels whole. Oh, <laughs> would you look at that one? Wow, I was almost about to end the adventure. And look at that. Just a very nice bonnet right at the end of the day. That's awesome. So here are the shell finds for today. And I do want to say, while there looks like very few, I did have some time constraints and I did come at the wrong time for the tide. So next time, I'm hoping to find a lot more. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike button, I don't mind. Uh, but before I let you all go, let's check out which ones were the favourites. And also, let me know which ones were your favourites. Um, well, I was quite surprised to find ton shells here. I, I almost never find them at, at the other beach, so... I do like them a lot, but those aren't the favourites. The favourites are going to be a toss-up between oh excuse me <laughs> between this very big old donkey and this little one that I thought was a clandestine I think the favorite today is going to be this little shell which I originally thought was a clandestine it has this nope it's still just a clandestine smooth brain strikes again it's a very nice one though don't get me wrong really really like that one and of course yes just this very, very big donkey. That's just, that was such a surprise to see that one waiting for me there. I do like that one quite a lot. Alrighty guys. Oh, 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 don't lose it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye guys.